Jumpy jump jump jump. Thanks for coming in, Mrs. Jonanan. I'll have this road rocket shinier than a a well a really shiny thing in no time. And all proceeds go to the library. This is very commendable of you, Sabrina. It's wonderful that you've taken it upon yourself to help save the Greendale Library. The place has definitely seen better days. Yo! Yow! It's my pleasure, Mr. Nananan. I'll come up with the 3,000 smackaroos for the library in no time. You know, everyone needs a cause. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Next. sold every piece of junk in the attic. Except this. What is this, anyway? Ah, a souvenir from the old Massachusetts witch hunting days. It's a supposed witch repellent charm. I bought it off a pilgrim to give to Hilda as a joke. Apparently, if you tap the stone three times, it'll make a witch lose her powers for a full minute. Why would anyone want to do that? Exactly. That's why I was trying to sell it. Hmm, well, if no one else wants it, I think it'll make a neat ankle bracelet. Now for the bake sale. Sabrina, did you bake this yourself? I sure did, Jem, and all proceeds go to my Save Our Library Fund. Isn't that cute? Well, I need to save my money to purchase a vintage and very expensive Billy Go Boom Boom collector's doll. There's only two left on Earth. Although, I guess one little brownie is... A dollar. A dollar. Fine. I'd like to help... Lib... Liber... Libatory... Liberiums, oh, whatever that stupid building full of books is called, as much as the next person. Just give me a brownie. Besides, if you baked it, I'm sure it's good enough for my dog, Ta! It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Boy, is the Save Our Library Committee going to be psyched when I give them this. Wow, and you made 300 more than your goal? Well, that's great, Brina. Most commendable, my fair-haired compadre. The library needs some updating, man. Particularly their engineering and science section. My blueprints for the future of transportation are most complex. The future of transportation, eh, Pi? My science class project. Someday we'll ride on rails of frictionless anti-flux matter, or solar-powered steam propulsion, or simple inertia power. Simple, fast, and clean burning. Chia. Someday in the future, I'll be riding Pi's inventions to my awesome, challenging, and high-paying job. Cool, Pi. Hopefully you'll change the future of transportation by the time I get my driver's license. Eh, hey, Harvey? Uh, Harvey? Cartoon mayhem. Billy be thy name. Chia. Holy monkeys, it's beautiful. A real live Billy Go Boom Boom the Beaver collectible doll! Well, I heard there's only two on Earth. Uh, guys, it's just a toy. Just a toy? Look at it! It's a work of art! It's awesome! A classic! An antique! Like from the early 1990s? Whoa, man! I must get a closer look! Uh, excuse us. We couldn't help noticing. The Billy Go Boom Boom collectible doll. Yeah, yeah. How much is it going for? Two hundred dollars. Whoa! Two hundred clams? Oh, I fold, man. Well, it's gonna make some lucky collector really happy. Whoa, it sure will. We grew up watching Billy Go Boom Boom. Yeah, we imitated many of his impossibly zany cartoon antics and had a blast. I think it's safe to say we are what we are today because of Billy Go Boom Boom. And that is... Well, certainly not the crude stereotype afforded our generation. Yeah, you know, spoiled, shallow, competitive slaves to instant gratification. Using cross material wealth to one up our peers. Jed, uh, there's some bratty girl on the phone who wants to buy that Billy Go Boom Boom doll. Her name's Jem Stone. No, it's mine! Mine! I want that doll! The Stone Kids offering 250 bucks. I'll give you 300! Sold! Sabrina, where are you gonna get that kind of money? Take that, 
gemstone. But you don't even like Billy Go Boom Boom. I do now. It's never too late to start collecting things, especially if they're things Gem wants. Oh, I don't know, man. The foul stench of moral dilemma is wafting its way to my psyche, man. Oh, come on, you guys. I earned this. It's like a reward for all my hard work. I made that spare 300 bucks. What does it hurt? It may not hurt now, but this just seems like one of those things that'll come back to haunt you. Haunt me? Yeah, because it's wrong. Look, guys, this was extra money. Even if it was extra money, it still belongs to the library. Mega ditto to that hard, man. The public put money in your jars to help the library, not to support the one-up gem fund. Well, see you later, my disingenuous compadre. Yeah, later, Sabs. Huh? Come on, guys. Sometimes things just fall into your lap. Accept it. <laughs> Very proud of you. You've done a wonderful thing for the whole town and for future generations. Yeah, Uncle Quigley. Thanks. Good night, Sabrina. I'm, uh, proud of me, too. <laughs> <gasps> huh? Hey kids, what time is it? It's Sabrina Go Boom Boom time. Billy Go Boom Boom? Y y you're alive? Hey, what's the big idea? Y you're a d d toy. Yeah, normally yes, but tonight I'm playing a different role. The role of your conscience. But you're just a d doll. Doll schmoll. I'm still your conscience. Well, as weird as this is, I guess if you're my conscience, then you're probably not going to hurt me. Well, I won't. But I must warn you, the truth can hurt. <clears throat> <clears throat> I assume you know why I'm here. Big duh. It's because I bought you with the extra money from the fundraiser. Bingo! You bought me with somebody else's money. Someone else's? Look, Paddle Tushy, I raised all that money myself. I worked hard, so there was a little extra money. I earned that money. And what are you pointing your beaver paw at? You're not stuck in that dusty store window getting bleached in the sun. Or worse, living on a shelf at Gem Stone's house. So everybody wins. So can I get back to sleep, please? Sheesh, it's not like my buying a stupid toy altered the future of mankind or anything. Good night. No more weird dreams for me. Billy, go boom boom, go bye bye. <laughs> huh? Mama, my house! What happened to my house? It burned down. What? You're still here? In the fur. This house burned down long after your family moved out. Your uncle quickly did some rewiring. He couldn't find the home improvement book he needed. Apparently, the library didn't have it. And as you can see, Uncle Quigley's handiwork wasn't exactly <laughs> this old house. But I was in this house last night. Last night was around 40 years ago. 40 years? Welcome to the future, kiddo. A lot's happened since then. Come on, I'll show you. We'll take the pie-in-the-sky transportation system. Whoa, I bet this whole system was invented by my old pal, Pi. He was always tinkering with ideas for futuristic transportation. Welcome aboard, ladies and germs. Pi? That's right, young lady. The inventor of the pie-in-the-sky transportation system. And now, hang on, everyone. Next stop, Greendale Center. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Pie? <laughs> Please take your seat, young lady. No standing when the pie in the sky transportation system is in motion. Very dangerous. 
Yeah, I could tip over from boredom. What happened to your futuristic transportation ideas? Anti-flux magnet rails? Perpetual motion gyro engines? Solar-powered hydroelectric steam propulsion and all that? <laughs> I remember. Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, I remember going to our old library. Couldn't find any new books on the subject. Seems our library couldn't update its reading material. A few dollars short in funds or something. This was the most futuristic transportation mode I could uncover. Pedal power. Well, maybe it's dated, young lady, but it gets us there eventually. Good grief, he had so much potential. If only Pi had found a more updated book on transportation. Yes, interesting, isn't it? One book can make such a difference. Yeah, I guess it could, but come on. That's just one mix-up. Others in my generation had to do better than Pi, right? You mean like Harvey? Yeah, he must have his awesome, challenging, high-paying job by now. Why don't you ask him? Yuck! What is that smell? H Harvey? Do I know you? Well, no, but, well, what are you doing here? Are you kidding, miss? Obviously, I'm curling pigtails. It's the only thing I'm qualified to do. Um, how'd you end up here? A long time ago at the Greendale Library, I needed a book on applying to Lawyers Hospital University. I wanted to become a doctor lawyer so I could so suture and sue at the same time. Unfortunately, the library didn't have the book I needed, so, well, I failed the entrance exam. Didn't, uh, have a book, huh? Then I remembered some advice a very successful friend of mine gave me a long time ago. She said, sometimes things fall into your lap. Well, it worked for her, so I figured it would work for me. And after a number of years, this job did fall into my lap. Pigtail curling. Yeehaw, I'm styling. Well, we better be heading off. Well, I better get back to work. I'd hate to lose my job. It's sad how different things could have been if the library only had a few more books. Uh, say, $300 worth. S 300 <laughs> Look, I don't recognize you, but you're barking up the wrong tree. Huh? Not you, the poodle. He's barking up the wrong tree. Go bark over at that tree. I'm talking here. I hate dogs. Now, as far as you go, if I owe you money, you'll just have to get in line. This is my first job in years. I'm tapped and even had to sell my fuzzy toy collection a long time ago. I got nothing here. And you're still a cat. I thought by now you'd be turned back into a warlock. Ha! I lost that chance years ago, when Sabrina Spellman sold me out. Started skimming cash from my kitty litter allowance. One day, in desperation, I used what I believed to be an outdoor cat box. How did I know it was a sand trap at the Witches' Council's favorite golf course? <laughs> they never forgave me, and it's all Sabrina's fault. I'm Sabrina Spellman. Yeah, right. And I'm the newest member of Menudo. Whoa. They're still around? What about the Sabrina? What happened to her? She's gone. G gone? That's right. Gone. No! <laughs> gone. Wait, say long, come back. I'll rub that special place behind your ear. Gone. Did Salem say gone? What happens to me? It's not pretty. Oh no, I know what happens to me. Do you, Sabrina? Look, gaze upon your future. The, the, the gravestone, it's, it's mine, right? Gravestone? No, silly. That's just a Halloween decoration some kids made up. Look behind the cardboard gravestone. I own my own building? Well, yeah, many in fact. One here in Greendale, your corporate headquarters. Corporate headquarters, woohoo, I rock. Come on, let's go see how cool I am. See, Billy, I always knew I'd make it, so I'm obviously rich and powerful. I bet I'm a major babe too, right? 
Why don't you, uh, ask yourself? Here you come now. Uh, how rude. But at least I have a limo. Make way what? for me, Spellman. Move it out of the way. Wow, I must be real important. Come on, let's say hello to me. Sorry, miss. No one's allowed to see Miss Spellman without an appointment. Just let me speak to her. I'm an old friend. I'm sorry to bother you, Miss Spellman. There's an annoying little girl and a kind of dumb-looking fat squirrel. Beaver. Oh, my bad. A kind of dumb-looking bloated beaver. What do they want? I don't know. What do they want? So, what did you tell her? I mean, yourself. The one secret only I would know about me, that I'm a half-witch. And by now I, she, we should have full use of my magical powers. Welcome, Miss Spellman. I'm not sure what your little game is, so name your price. Anyone who knows my secret also knows that I sold off my half share of witch powers as a part of a corporate merger that was highly classified. You sold our magic powers? Yes. My cat tried to talk me out of it. But what happened to you? Oh, I've always been like this very successful. Except when I was your age, like 12. Back then, I cared more about people. Pretty silly, huh? But I uh, wised up one day when I raised some money. For a library. Right. Oh, I learned when you get away with the little things, you can probably pull off big things. A fudge here, a cheat there, a little skim off the top here, then... But that's stealing. So what? It's not about people. It's about stuff. And I've got all the stuff a girl would want. How could you sell your magic? Well, you know, when someone buys out your company, you have to give up some things. Miss Spellman, Chairman Stone is here. Ch Chairman Stone? Oh, my, uh, the boss is here. Uh, look busy. Are you actually polishing Jem's shoes? I'm coming in, Spellman. I own you now. Yipes. I guess Jem also bought my good looks. Ah, I see you've hired a new office janitor. You remind me of someone. Uh, someone really annoying. She huh? is annoying, isn't she, Miss Stone? Uh, but I'm not. You like me, right? Well, I used to despise you when we were younger because I was jealous of you. But then you found your way to my side. You became like me. Then I lost all respect for you. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Stop groveling, Sabrina. Why would you want to be like Jem? She's icky. Icky? How dare you? Your little janitor is fired. Take her away. Oh, no! Let me go! I'm not going without myself. I don't want me to end up like this. It's a little too late, isn't it, Sabrina? You made your choice a long time ago when you bought that doll. It was the beginning of the end. So you do know who I am? Of course. I have your powers. You sold them to me. And now that you're here again, I can double my powers. <laughs> what are you doing? Draining your magic. Your half-witch powers are no match for me. No! Losing strength. I can feel powers leaving. What the? Whoa. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Salem? That's my name, don't wear it out. That's Salem, all right. Body of a cat, maturity of a six-year-old. This way. Why are you saving me? The place behind my ear that I like to have scratched, no one knows that. I figured you must be Sabrina. The good Sabrina that I knew, here to fix the past. Oh, Salem. Uh-oh. We gotta jump! We gotta jump! We gotta jump! Ah! Oh, Salem, am 
I'm glad to see you. I owe you this. Mmm, me likey. But I bought it yesterday for three hundred dollars. Ah, Billy Go Boom Boom's old hat today. I'll give you seventy-five dollars. Uh, all right. You got yourself a deal. Sheesh, what a ripoff. Don't be too hard on yourself. $75 is still 75 more than what the library expected. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. No, it's not, Salem. I'm still $225 short. Come on, it's back to work. Ooh, I just love my Billy Go Boom Boom doll. And could you believe I got it for only $500? Don't you wish you had one, Sabrina? Oh, that's right. You could never afford one. You have no idea, Jem. Tell you what, Spellman. For an extra dollar, I'll let you wash Ruby. It's a deal. The library can use every dime I make. That's great. He was sprayed by a skunk this morning. It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. <laughs> 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 da -da 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 -da.